All right, so I'm here talking about the Everybody's a Critic movie watching challenge. Again, I keep saying this, but I'm behind on recording and posting these, so I'm just trying to get caught up. I've been watching movies, but the recording hasn't always happened. I do want to talk about some of my thoughts, though, and I very much enjoy it. So we're going to talk today about the prompt that was for the monster, whatever in it is, man-made. And I was drawing a complete blank. I could not think of what to do for this one. And I don't know why it was so difficult. I know there's Frankenstein and I did debate watching Frankenstein, but ultimately I just didn't want to. So I made the very unfortunate choice of revisiting a movie that I watched and hated back in the day, which is Rubber. I thought maybe I missed something. Maybe I'll enjoy it more this time. So the too long didn't read version is I didn't. I still hate it. And I don't usually hate movies, but I absolutely hated rubber. I got the point they're making. I just didn't like it. There were only a couple parts I did like. Of course, spoilers. But um, there's a part where animals are killed. I really don't like anything that hurts animals whatsoever. So that really did throw me off. But it is unfortunate component of a lot of movies. They have this whole thing in the beginning of, you know, why do they do this? Well, who knows? Just because. But, and a lot of this movie is, well, why not? Just because. That's just how it is. To explain the story, but that's always bothered me in movies. I've never liked things being unexplained. I, In fact, I want over explanations. I want to know the lore. I want to know why it happened. I want to know what factors led into this. I want to know what specific personality traits created the protagonist to act the way he did. It's just something I look for in movies is explanations. And while I can enjoy a movie that isn't explaining the how, when, and why, it's more likely that I will enjoy a movie that does explain all these things. So this movie, of course, did not explain why the tire developed some kind of sentient awareness. It also did not explain how the tire got any kind of telekinetic powers, whatever it is. So already there, I was like, meh, kind of, it was really hard to hold my interest with this movie. It just wasn't entertaining to me. I can watch it. I get it. Some of the jokes are kind of interesting or funny or whatever. It's a kind of a comedy and they're trying to make fun of things. I get that. I just didn't enjoy it. The only part I can really remember liking and smiling at all at was the part where the tire realizes that it has these powers and is happy about it. And there's this happy music playing and the tire just kind of roll, rolling around, enjoying life. And I did like the way that it developed its powers. So you could see the first step was rolling over something and breaking it and being, oh, okay, that's interesting. Like I liked that aspect of it, but it, there just wasn't enough in this movie for me to ever want to watch again. I have confirmed myself that I hate this movie. It is not for me. I don't enjoy it. I think it's dumb and I don't intend on ever watching it again as long as I live now that I viewed it twice and both times had the same opinion and this time it was even harder to pay attention and keep my focus just because I had watched it before and so I got to parts where I remembered and I was like Ugh, I have to sit through this whole part again and I didn't enjoy it and there were so many different layers that didn't need to be there just because they were trying to make some kind of commentary on filmmaking or people or whatever it was. So personal opinion, don't bother with rubber. It sucks.